G'day Stephen Carey's Moth at GridNoz.com Yes, and you know how many times I've said again, that's still us. Bit of a offbeat sort of a video, video this one. Um, just turned 62, yeah. Steve just turned 62. Caused a few problems actually, aside from being able to listen to Tom Petty off grid on YouTube and sit out in the kitchen on a very, very bright, lovely Wednesday morning. Going to be 38 today, but caused a few problems this old um, birthday thing. I'm just going to wander around. You know, about 10 years ago I thought, what would I do, you know? What would I do? And really what came to mind was, what do I do with my retirement? Steve's been a tradie, <laughs> me. Was that talking about me in the third tense or some bloody thing? Been a tradie for, you know, since I was 16. So I haven't got big superannuation or no big retirement fund. None of that sort of stuff. So I was wondering what I would do, you know, when I sort of got to that age. And now at 62, I'm finding I run into another problem. And the problem is I've spent... You know, 45 years going out the proverbial gate. You know, I go out the gate and as a tradie I renovate houses, I build houses, do plumbing, do all sorts of stuff. But what's happened in the last, you know, 18 months is we decided that we would, um, or that I would try and do something different. How's these bloody, these peppers, they're going mad, eh? Yeah, you gotta love that shit. We've even got some cucumber cooperating down here. This cucumber plant is almost blocking the bloody driveway, the walkway. But yeah, at um, 62, I've run into this, this new problem. And it isn't growing greens, I can tell you that right now. But what I find is, well, I took up, um, and myself and Kerry have set up, building the tiny houses that you know, a few of you might have seen or not bothered. We don't thump it that much. And we're sort of buried in buried in work with the tinies. But what it's actually created is I actually stand here this morning. I'm waiting on a couple of trailers to turn up. The guy, the professional guys I get to make them, he's um, a bit under the pump. And I've got two turning up. But I did have pretty much two weeks of a bit of a delay, so to speak, while I wait for the trailers to turn up. So I walk around at 62 and I don't go out the gate and do plumbing or building anymore. I haven't done that for about, well when we started this property about 18 months ago, and this property is only 18 months old. Outdoor kitchen, gardens, house, flat, whole lot. It's only 18 months old. So we've been real busy, but I haven't actually been out the gate. And what I find now, I just turned 62 yesterday and I sort of feel retired. Even though I'm probably chucking more hours in on, on our free stuff on offthegridnoz.com, on the website, on the Facebook groups, YouTube channel, shit, you know, we pile some stuff in as well as the tiny house stuff that we deal with every day. And I actually find, I said to Kerry, I've said it to her a couple of times, I sort of feel like um, part of my life's gone and I feel retired, but I'm probably doing more now than what I did when I was even just driving out the gate, which is really odd. It's a very odd feeling. Tomato Alley's actually just about at its used by date, although it's still going pretty good. They're still producing tomatoes. But yeah, you just wake up, and a lot of people I'm sure have this same problem, where you just don't know what you're gonna do with your retirement. And I'm not retired. You know, lock and load this, I will never retire. We are not rich. Stephen Carey from OffTheGridNoz.com do not have a million dollars in the bank. <laughs> Although we do have outdoor YouTube <laughs> on streaming Wi-Fi on solar. And to be dead honest, today I'm actually doing a... Look at that. Yeah, distilling some water. Put some flavouring in it too. See the colour of it. You know, I put some actually additives in it. That's another story. But yeah, what do you do, you know? At 62, I thought... Well, yeah, probably have to go work in Safeway or Coles or something, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Now we're, we're doing the tinies, we're booked out till June, we don't make a big hullabaloo about that. But I do wind up 
in these short delay periods where things like trailers and materials and I'm waiting to uh, waiting turn up I don't have to get the gate it's a creepy feeling after all these years of going out the gate and having to work for the public with that um, emphasis on if you don't go out the gate you don't earn a living I've never had a paid holiday never had a pay never had a never had a job well I've had a job but a self-employed so yeah you sort of wind up look I wind up now wondering what the friggin hell I'm doing <laughs> I sort of, I feel retired, but I'm not, because we're doing so much stuff, and we've got plenty of time now to put into things like the YouTube and the Facebook groups. We do the stuff that we're passionate about, which is the off-grid stuff. You know, 10, 12 years of that, we've been thumping that stuff around the place, and we still haven't got the videos right, and we're not going to bother. Our videos are just what they are. But yeah, I thought for the older people who wonder what you do with your with your time, you know, when you start getting on in a few years. Well, if you're a tradie, uh, maybe do what I did, which is really weird, and begin to work from home on an off-grid property, building off-grid tiny houses. <laughs> I'm not suggesting everyone can do that, but you really got to think of something you can do from home, and then you wind up feeling a bit weird like Steve. At the moment, I feel weird. I feel like I'm retired because I'm pottering around at 10 o'clock in the morning, watering plants, got a still running, listening to YouTube, but I've got a workload from hell coming up and I'll, I'll be busy as buggery for a few months and then it'll go quiet again. So I'm not retired, but I am retired because I'm on the bloody camera making a YouTube vid at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday morning. I don't know about you, this is fucking weird to me. Oh, I said it. Fuck, sorry, that's weird for me. So anyway, it's a quick one. Thanks to everyone who said the happy birthday to me and all that. Not that I do, I don't do birthdays, guys. Certainly don't do birthdays. I feel about 40 and I'm probably about 16 in the head. Well, actually 19 in the head. As I say, what travels between the years is what you are. So anyway, it's cheers from me. It's cheers from Tom Petty. I had a great Wednesday morning going. Trailers don't turn up until Friday. Well, the next trailer doesn't turn up till Friday. So I just wander around here going, what the flaming hell am I doing? I'm 62. Never been on the dole. Never had a payment given to me that I didn't earn. And I feel really weird. <laughs> I seriously feel weird. And I've, Kerry's been worrying about me for the last few, for the last few weeks, maybe a month. Because I do feel weird. I feel like I should be plunging out the gate. So what do you do with your retirement? What do you do when you go off grid? Well, you could maybe think a bit outside the square. And I think you probably will find, if you've been a hard working man your whole life, you'll probably find that you're gonna stand here like me, feeling a little bit bloody strange at 62. And I'll leave it at that. It's a bit, a bit, a bit of a, a video for the people thinking about what they're gonna do when they go off grid. Maybe for the older, people who wonder whether you can survive off grid and what you do with your time when you're off grid so cheers to me Kerry subscribe and like or not you know the drill we'll catch you on the next one happy birthday to me <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit <laughs> have a good one day no, have a good day hope your day's good hope you're thinking positive hope your plans are coming to fruition and just stay on the plan, all right? Stay on the plan. If you're new, stay on the plan. Sort it out. You'll be cool. Shit just seems to work out. And you might wind up as screwed up as me standing there at 62 wondering what the flaming hell you're going to do. Hey, here's a, here's a message for the people with pipework. See the two lettuces? I graded that pipe, actually. You can see all the ones down there. They're all good. These two up this end, they'll come back. Uh, but 40, 40 degrees nearly yesterday. I let the water level go down. Don't let the water level go down. Anyway, cheers for me. We'll catch you on the next one. Shit, I hope everyone's as happy as me, even if I am a bit disturbed. Uh, got more Tom Petty coming on. I gotta go. Catch you guys.